Hi, my name is Michelle Wilson with Eminem Film Talk, where we have real talk with people in film and stage. Now, I am so happy to be here today with my friend, Christy Taylor. She is a film writer, a actual filmmaker, as well as done so many things, a radio personnel, she's done so much more. So, let's get started. Welcome, Christy. Welcome, and thank you so much for having me on Eminem Film Talk. It's such a pleasure, Michelle. Great. I am so glad to be here with you. Uh, we're going to get up close and personal with Christy Ooh, today. This is so interesting. <laughs> yes, ma'am. So, I want to first, I want you to tell the audience a little bit about you. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so much to me. So, how can I do the little? I, well, I like to always do what I call the origin story. For many people mm -hmm. who know me from Memphis, many may not know that I actually am not a native Memphian. Okay. I was born in Washington DC and mm. at the age of around seven years of eight, uh, seven years of yeah, seven eight, <laughs> seven. Okay. Um, my mom moved me and my siblings to um, down south as they say and because she had been from Mississippi and the Tipton County area we ended yeah. up having, you know, my childhood memories of living outside of Covington and some people may know as Burlington and Gilded yeah. Gilt Edge and uh, Randolph area. There's a small black community called Jamestown. I gotta give a shout out to that. All um, right. And uh, from there, moved into the Millington Woodstock area. Went to Woodstock Elementary School for two mm -hmm. years, and then went to Millington Central High School. So that's kind of like the Christy Taylor origin story with DC born. Tipton County, Woodstock, Millington raised, and then mm -hmm. off into my adult life, I did some other things. Well, I'm so happy to hear that. Now, let's get right into up close and personal with Christy Ooh. right now. Okay, okay, first of all, I want to tell, I tell all the viewers, what started you on this path? You know, I talk about my, you know, my origin story of being D.C. born, so I mm -hmm. have to always say that even those formative years when we lived in D.C., we would um, go to museums a lot, so I always had a great affinity for fine art and going to a lot of different art culture type things. My mm -hmm. mom was an avid reader, so she kept plenty of books for us to read, um, and I also became a ferocious reader. So for me, I always say that my creative path starts with the fact that I actually fell in love with alphabets. I fell in love with words wow. at a very young age. And mm -hmm. I do remember, you know, just reading tons and tons of books, mm -hmm. even when we moved to Tipton County and the Tennessee area. Mm -hmm. But I have to also jump back to when we were in D.C. One of my fondest memories that really did shape me as, okay. as a little girl was um, Jesus Christ Superstar, the Broadway oh, musical. Oh, yeah, I love that. I love the that. Is, <laughs> the thing is that in addition to the books my mom would buy us, mm -hmm. she had a, a vinyl collection. She yes. had like Johnny Cash, oh my she God. had some Alex Bradford, mm -hmm. she had Andy Griffins, and she also, I mean, she showed different sides. So for those who know Johnny Cash was oh, yeah. you know, Big Bad John and all mm -hmm. that, and of course Alex Bradford was a classic, The Caravans, yes. Gospel, and she yes. had Andy Griffin, which was a comedy album, but she also had the Jesus Christ Superstar um, soundtrack on vinyl. And mm -hmm. I loved that. And so even from a young age, I always wanted to be in entertainment. My aspirations, actually, everybody was to do Broadway because I was like, I can sing. And, you know, <laughs> I, I became an actress. And, yeah. Um, but yeah, always some form of fashion. But between reading books and Jesus Christ Superstar soundtrack, I think yeah. that really did shape that my life. That got you started and everything. But see, that's, that's what let us know a lot more about you <laughs> than what we knew. I mean, you were a singer. Yes, uh, I she's. I mean, that's added more to what she does. Yes. Okay, she's not that she started uh, <laughs> just from writing and, and, and filmmaking, but she's a singer as well, as well as radio. I'm in the full package. Okay. okay. I started showing my public persona of speaking. I literally have people who know me from a child like, who would have ever thought you became a radio personality? Because you were so quiet. You know, mm -hmm. so, but it was always inside of me. And I think, you know, even when I go to schools now, because I still give back a lot, I always mm -hmm. encourage, you know, imagination. Because yes. even when I was reading those books, what it was really showing me was a world beyond where I was. Exactly. It was showing me possibilities. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have a very broad, vivid imagination. So I always dream big. Okay. And I think that, you know, for those who understand the power of imagination, yes. I have created a life out of my 
thoughts. And well, see, and that them. and that's what a true writer stems yes. from, exactly. a storyteller. She's first of all, she gets in deep inside of herself, yes. and then it all comes out. Yes. And so that's where the true writer comes in. So, and a lot of people don't realize that part there. Mm -hmm. For a writer, they start with images and imagination and yes. things, and they get that off of anything. Yes. And it can be a song, it can be a poem, yes. it can just be anything. Even a, a just driving along in a car, they mm -hmm. can create <laughs> from just looking out the window. Michelle and, and is telling so my life. Michelle is telling my life. It's because my it's mine. <laughs> So we're it's telling so our, deep. our story. Exactly. It's so deep to and it's know so that. It's so interesting that mm -hmm. you talk about that because when it came to getting past reading books, mm -hmm. the very first chance I had or opportunity, I think I ventured into writing yes. my own thoughts down on paper okay. was a poem. Mm -hmm. It was a poem. See? And, and then I graduated <laughs> into songwriting. Yes. And then, um, yeah, I just would try to do a lot of journaling, okay. you know, learning how to you know, channel those thoughts. And by the time I was a teenager and in college, then that's when the more quote unquote, you know, structured writing started showing up. But mm -hmm. it was all about the poems and those songs. Oh, because yeah. Because that's what get, led you to the path that you're on now. Exactly. And so now, once you discovered, okay, here I am, this is me, Christy Taylor. I feel like I'm a writer now. Ooh. I feel that uh, I can do this thing. Mm. What triggered you to just go in deeper? I mean, uh, what did you do? Start out with a poem, or like you said, you did a poem. What made you write your first script? Because honestly, I did not really commit to the script writing mm -hmm. until my adult, adult, adult life. Okay. Um, I really stayed for years in the music circle where I was mm -hmm. a singer, okay. songwriter, toured gospel groups. A lot of my friends. A recording artists, I could drop names. Yeah, and there are people that I would later play as a radio personality on Hallelujah FM because yes. I literally the first 10 15 years of my life I was a singer, I was known as a singer songwriter. Okay. Then I progressed into radio, yes. and it was while I was doing radio leaving music behind, totally focusing on my radio career, because somewhere in there I did go to college a couple of times, mm -hmm. um, that also helped shape a lot of my creativity. Um, it was while I was in radio here in Memphis that um, I ended up co-writing a movie. But it came yeah. based out of just years of being around creative people, mm -hmm. years of reading, years of journaling, years of putting my thoughts down. And I have over 200 songs in a blue binder to this day. Okay. And I, sad okay. to say, I've only had two songs published, produced, because most of that stuff was just my thoughts. Just like yeah. I'm a closeted visual artist. Most people That's don't okay. know that I paint. But mm -hmm. a lot of it was just me needing to express myself not necessarily commercially, but just for my own creative existence. I hope yeah. I'm not getting too deep, because no, I'm no, one deep no, sister. But, well, the thing of it is, uh, actually finding yourself in radio and landing there, I think that's probably what grounds you mm. into getting deeper into where you are going today, I imagine. I would say, Okay, now this is me really, because a lot of people do not know my journey. Okay, so can we go okay. a little deeper? Let's, let's go okay. to your journey. Okay, so remember the formative years. I'm mm -hmm. here in Tipton County, then Woodstock, mm -hmm. Millington, mm -hmm. and I graduated from Millington Central High School. Yes, go Trojans, class of 1983. <laughs> okay. And I was 17. I, I graduated yes. at 17, and from there I went to Oral Roberts University in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Okay. I was so deep into music that I really mm -hmm. was a music major when I first went to school. That's how serious I was okay. about singing. Okay. Because remember Broadway. Yes. Like, you was already Broadway. on your path. Yeah. People wouldn't, didn't even know that about you. My high school friends do because they actually, when yeah. I see my high school course now, class of 83 to now, so it's mm -hmm. quite a few years. Mm -hmm. Wait, that's not But that, a lot of them will say, that at all. do you still sing, Christy? Because they can't imagine me not singing. I mean, true story, just this summer, mm -hmm. one of my favorite teachers in the entire world was my was my choir teacher at Millington Central High School, wow. Peggy Brasfield Welch. Mm -hmm. And just this summer, she literally sent all of us in her honors choir, I think her career has probably been phenomenal, but she definitely sent a lot of us who went to Millington Central High School and were part of honors choir, CDs and DVDs of okay. when they would do competitions. 
Wow. So it was so, so interesting. She, that was really good. To put that in this summer and okay. listen to my 17-year-old self say. <laughs> Going to Old Roberts University, getting involved in Souls of Fire, which is a touring group and choir. Okay. We literally tour the country and would be pulled out of class to be on the on, on the TV show on campus. Yeah. Um, to eventually meeting gospel superstars. Okay. Honestly, my life that is so layered. So <laughs> I literally became friends with the likes of, matter of fact, Margaret Bell, who's a sister of Vanessa Bell Armstrong, yes. was a TV singer. So we okay. became friends on campus. Hmm. Judy Christy McAllister, many wow. of them knew for the awesome. Girl. She's you know, an awesome book. Oh, well, I she, love her. But she, we toured together in Souls of Fire. She married the drummer, Darren. Okay. So literally, a lot of my friends are professional. My brother is a music producer. Yes. So a lot of my world. Mm -hmm. Was shaped by, the, shaped music, all around the, by music. the music industry. So I got all these friends who are singers and who are going on award shows and things yeah. like that. In a studio all day and night. And it was in my early 20s that I decided, like, this ain't my life. This is not what I'm going to this do. Is, this is not what I want you to do. Because remember, I went to ORU to be a music yeah. major. But it was in, at ORU that I also fell in love with radio. Okay. So I changed my major to radio. But confession, I dropped out of school and ran to Detroit being around all my recording yes. artist friends because mm -hmm. I'm like, well, I'm a singer. Okay. More in school, like so you were battling inside. Oh, I will say that. Thank you. <laughs> you get well, we you, all, you we get all battle. It. We all battle because we don't know exactly. We try to find out what do we want to do. But first of all, I guess I, I need mm -hmm. to sometimes I have to shake myself yes. and say, listen to the voice inside because that's the one who knows you. And you have totally spoken my life. It's like this whole journey that I've gone down has really been, yes, I'm a creative person, I'm an artsy person, mm -hmm. but I'm really a woman who has learned how to listen to her inner compass. Yes. You know, to be guided mm. by my own personal path yes. and vision. And that's where all this other stuff is just an expression mm -hmm. to me. Is it important? But the core part of me is I'm a woman who's self-actualized. Like I've realized who I am and yes. everything I do comes from a place of feeling passion and purpose. If yes. I write, it has to come from a place of purpose and passion. And it's I, true. And it, that now has become really like, mm -hmm. who am I? You know, oftentimes when you do different um, conversations and things like, who are you really? Like, you know, are you a singer? No, I'm a person who is a source of inspiration. First, I inspire myself. Okay. And from my own life, I seek to inspire others to live their life. Now, okay, yeah. we're going to take a brief break. <laughs> and we'll be back with Christy Taylor on Eminem Film Talk. Eminem Film Talk, sponsored in part by Allstate. You're in good hands. Brandon Goodrich, agent, owner. Call him at 901 794 0080. 3725 Riverdale Road, Suite 4, Memphis, Tennessee 38115. Call today to schedule a complimentary insurance review today. Hi, we're back, and my name is Michelle Wilson with Eminem Film Talk, and I'm here with Christy Taylor, and we're talking about her story <laughs> and film as a filmmaker. 25, 26, and I literally had to, with, I have to put God in this, it's like, really ask God, well, what is it you want me to do with my life? Exactly. Because a lot exactly. of people have And that's when I stop and say to myself, Lord lead me because sometimes yes. we can get in our own way. Yes, we can. And that's why we go to different directions. Mm -hmm. And and once we do find our path, we start you know going getting off the path, getting on the path. And I've heard so many people <laughs> say, "Hey, what do you really want to do? Yes. Who are you really in your eyes? What are you seeing in yourself?" Mm -hmm. And that's what I have to discover. So when you found out, okay, who am I? Who is Chrissy Taylor? Apart and, from family and friends and yes, everybody who's preachers yes. and recording and artists. people telling you, hey, you, you should, should be do doing this. this. You, you should. should. Exactly. That's it. And that, that, that's the biggest struggle with most writers and um, filmmakers because a lot of people don't know that everyday people can do something like yes. that. It seems like someone who has to be this big blowed up person who can actually be on the path of that and but they, so everyone started that. somewhere oh. in, or, in, in order to get to where they are Michelle so and I that's like so that. important that you said that because most people say well how did she get up in film it's because 
when I was in music and realized that wasn't my path, mm -hmm. it really put me on the right path exactly. to pursue my personal purpose. Mm -hmm. Then going into radio, exposing me to all these other aspects that oftentimes when you're a musician and singer and songwriter, you're not exposed to. No. I was able to encounter people across all spectrums mm -hmm. being in radio, which included once I got serious about my radio career, included a concert promoter who told me he had a story idea that he wanted to turn into a movie. And because see. I had taken, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I was on my path and my path led me into going back to something I had done in college too, which was I did theater. Mm -hmm. And I did understand playwriting. I had taken screenwriting classes because it was all part of my radio degree, see. radio, television, mm -hmm. and film. So, so when all I, of that was just molding you, you for the me? time that you are now. And it helped me <laughs> learn in my 20s and early 30s to be committed. That's it. Mm -hmm. To be committed mm -hmm. against the odds because no one else in my circle, and I have a fabulous peer circle. Yeah. Nobody else was radio personalities. Mm -hmm. No one else was pursuing television and film. Mm -hmm. They were like Grammy Award winning singers See? or Dove Award winning See? singers. It's like, <laughs> but here I was trying to eck out my life yes. that was different. I felt like the ugly duckling. Mm -hmm. I really did. I feel like the ugly duckling. But that duckling turned into a beautiful swan. So that <laughs> makes it happen. That's what yes, makes it, it happen. But it was not a straight line. And I want to make sure I communicate mm -hmm. that because I do believe, you know, I've definitely been blessed in Memphis. Memphis, you yes. all have shown me so much love in my radio career and mm -hmm. even shown me so much love as I have journeyed okay. into this film space. Um, okay. Even when I left radio, after mm -hmm. a good 10 years, mm -hmm. I had gone from 990 The Light to V101 to 995. I have just had such a wonderful time here, Christy. Thank I you. just oh, thank you so much for joining us on Eminem Film Talk. And before we go, is there anything else you want to just say to your listening audience? Well, I want to say thank you, first of all, Michelle, for allowing me to be a part of Eminem Film Talk. This feels good to be on this side of the mic. Yes. Uh, an opportunity to share my creative journey. I, I, I really do appreciate that. And yeah. for those who want to, you know, follow me, uh, you can do that on social media at mm -hmm. Christy Taylor Online. That's C H R S T I E Taylor Online. That's also my website. And if you are serious about acting or script writing, yes. uh, I am a consultant. So you can check us out at the Script Polishers. Mm -hmm. So, but first and foremost, just check me out online, Christy Taylor Online. And thank you again, Michelle. I really do appreciate this. Oh, and I, it, everything is right there at the bottom of the screen. So, if you want to note it down, it's on the bottom of the screen. So, everything Christy talked about, she's an awesome script writer, script polisher. Yes. So that is going to be a help for people who are just getting started in the game and want to be able to get that polishing look to their actual script. And thank since you. I just want to say thank you once again, Christy. And thank you guys for joining us on Eminem Film Talk, where we do real talk with people in film.